This has been some year for Coach Rick Pitino. In April, he led Louisville to a NCAA championship. Last month, he became a member of the Basketball Hall of Fame. He even had a horse that ran in the Kentucky Derby. He was very busy. Pitino writes about achieving his goals in his new book. It's called The One Day Contract, How to Add Value to Every Minute of Your Life. Good morning to you, Coach Pitino. Good morning. I think you're on to something with this one day contract because you say in any basketball player's contract, he always plays best his final year. And you started thinking, hey, we should do what? Well, two and a half years ago, I thought about coming into this industry, and it's been 30 the TV plus industry, years. TV yeah. industry, right? And, and I said to myself, I'm going to rebrand myself, first of all, and stop worrying about the future, stop thinking about the past, and I'm going to work on a one-day contract. And that's when I started writing this book, trying to get from the night, I, night before, the way I prepare for the next day, to the right before going to bed, I'm going to get every ounce of perspiration out of my abilities for that one day. And if, if I do it, I'm renewed the next day. Yeah. You also said that humility is something that you lacked for a long time, and it's very important. That's a, that should be a big part of the one-day contract, humility. Well, the Celtics taught me that. You know, when failure <laughs> hits anyone, you sort of make excuses and you blame other people. You blame the ping-pong balls not getting <laughs> Tim Duncan. And, yes. and in reality, you look yourself in the mirror and you say, why did you not succeed? And it, it gets you humble. And when you're humble, you're hungry. You listen more. You understand what roads to travel. So for me, it was a great lesson. Uh, failure was a great lesson for me. And it teaches us why we win. We win as a team. Mm -hmm. uh, our fundamentals are the same with every basketball coach. Failure teaches you more than success? I think it, humility is, I, I tell my players all the time, there's only one thing going to stop you, and that's ego. Anytime ego comes into play, you edge greatness out. Mm -hmm. You get complacent, you stop working, your competition goes by you. And ego kills every coach, ego kills every athlete. It stops them from reaching their potential. And I, 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 we preach that every day. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea, the one day contract, kind of living out every day and trying to live it to the fullest, if you will, or whatever. But you can't coach a team that way, can you? I mean, you gotta have a strategy, you gotta have a, well, I, it's more, it's more get maximizing your day. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's your laser sharp focus, I talk about the trap of technology, how techno, my players admitted the other day that they spend a minimum. Now, they're going to understate their hours to me. I said, how, met, how much do you deal with social media per day? They mm -hmm. said four hours each. One person said the whole day. I said, could you imagine if you took two of those hours and got in the gym and worked on your trade, how good you would be? Yeah. Four hours and none of it impacted anyone's lives. It was, it was wasting time. You go to a dinner table and everybody starts taking out their phone. Yes. When they should say, you're the most important person in my life. You have my undivided attention. Instead, they're texting underneath the table. So we just don't allow that with our team. Yeah, you said you wouldn't even recruit people if you can tell they're distracted by their Blackberry or their email while they're sitting there talking to you. Well, I'll have some recruits and the parents, we're having great dialogue. Yeah. And the kids are underneath texting. Speaking of that, beyond pure skill, what do you look for most in someone you want to come play for you and can take you to your own dreams? I look for somebody that's really hungry to reach his potential. You know, they're just, they're willing to pay the price to get there. Mm. I've coached now, this is my, I'm recruiting my fourth young man from Africa. Mm. I find they are a dream yeah. Their education is so important to them. Yes. They're humble and hungry to reach their They're potential. Hungry, yes. It's incredible. So I, I tell my assistant coaches, anybody that's coming in from Africa, go after him. Yeah. And right now we have, we have three young men from Africa, and they are really, really hungry to succeed. Who's best. had the best recruiting season this year? Kentucky's had the best recruiting class in the history of wow. college basketball. And they'll be a preseason number one. Uh, Duke will be up there, so you, you feel good about <laughs> Louisville. that. Thank you, Coach. Great to see you. Thank the one-day contract is now on sale.